What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna do more examples, three more examples for adding and subtracting rational expressions. So starting off with number one, we got seven over x plus two minus four over x squared minus four. So what's the first step? First step is we make sure that everything is factored. And out of everything here, notice we could factor this denominator, this x squared minus four, that's a difference of squares. So we could rewrite this as seven over x plus two minus four over x plus two times x minus two. That's what the x squared minus four factors into. Then from here, we can state the restrictions. So notice x plus two can't equal zero, so that means x cannot equal negative two. That's one of the restrictions. And then notice this factor here, x minus two cannot equal zero, which means x cannot equal positive two. So uh, now that we have the restrictions, we got to simplify. So what is the common denominator going to be? Well, notice that x plus 2 is in both of these, so we don't have to worry about that. But here we have x minus 2, and here we don't. So we can multiply this by x minus 2, and then the top by x minus 2. So then the common, lowest common denominator is x plus 2 times x minus 2. Then here we'll have seven bracket x minus two minus four. And then when we uh, expand everything, simplify, we'll end up with seven x. This will be minus 14 minus four, which is minus 18. And this will be x plus two times x minus two. So that's what this simplifies to, and then those are the restrictions. Okay, moving on to number two, we got six over x minus one plus four. Now notice that we're adding a constant here, just one term, it's not a fraction. So whenever you have something like this, or even here we have an x and a y, what you wanna do is you wanna put this over one. You always wanna put it over one if something is alone like that, or even a constant like a four here. So from there, you follow the same steps. So you make sure that everything is factored. Notice we can't factor anything further here. Then you state the restrictions. One will never be zero, but notice x minus one cannot equal zero, which happens at an x value one. So that means x cannot equal positive one, like that. So here we'll have six over x minus one plus what? Well, what's the lowest common denominator here going to be? Um, we can multiply this by x minus 1 and then the top by x minus 1, right? So the lowest common denominator is actually x minus 1. And actually, let me put this as one fraction here, like this. So we'll have 6 plus 4 bracket x minus 1, like that. So then... Uh, we expand this, so this would be 4x minus 4, so we would have 4x, and then 6 minus 4 is uh, 2, right? Yes, 2 over x minus 1. And then we could factor, you want to um, factor the simplified numerator always, make sure that nothing can simplify further. And um, we could take out a 2, so 2x plus 1 all over x minus one. It doesn't seem like anything will cancel out or simplify any further. So that there is the simplified answer for those two rational expressions added together. That's the restriction. Moving on to number three. So we got x over y plus y over x minus x plus y. Now, as I mentioned here, this minus x you wanna put over one and then this y here, you want to put over 1 as well, whenever something is alone, like that. First step, factor. Notice we can't uh, factor anything here. Everything is fully simplified. Then we get the restrictions. Notice that y cannot equal 0. That's one of the restrictions here, because that would make this undefined. And then here, notice x cannot equal 0. Those are the two restrictions. 
for uh, this question. And then what is the lowest common denominator between all of these going to be? Well, notice that y and x, they're totally different variables, totally different factors. And as I mentioned in previous videos, when you have something like that, lowest common denominator is going to be them multiplied by each other. So what do we multiply the y to get xy? We have to multiply it by x. We have to multiply the top by x. What do we multiply the x by to get xy? Multiply it by y. So we multiply the top by y. This one, we have to multiply by xy. So we multiply this by xy. And this one, multiply by xy, multiply the top by xy as well. So x times x, that's x squared. This would be y squared. Uh, this here would be minus x times xy is x squared y. And then plus y times xy is xy squared. And notice here, this can't really simplify any further. I don't think you could factor that uh, numerator any further. Let me just double check, maybe by grouping. No. Doesn't seem like you can. So this is your final answer. That's what it simplifies to. And then those two are the restrictions.